Hi everybody and welcome to another video brought to you by plcgurus.net. So today what I wanted to do is take a look at the built-in help system and the often underutilized help system that's actually built right into Studio 5000 itself. Um, so this will be another installment in our Studio 5000 Essentials video series. And today specifically what I wanted to take a look at was one, how to access the instruction help for any given instruction, how to access the module wiring diagrams for a given module, and how we can make use of the start page and look at the different resources available to us there. Okay, so let's get going. So what you wanna do is head on over to the help dropdown in the main toolbar up here, the menu bar, sorry, and you'll wanna to go to instruction help. And what this is gonna do is open up a dialogue and notice the instruction sets are listed here. We can expand that, no problem. Um, and if you scroll in the main window pane here, you can see that all of the different instructions in the controller are listed here, okay? And if you're looking for a specific uh, instruction, you know what you're looking for, you could do the alphabetical search here as well. Um, but I'm just gonna click back. And you can go in, so for instance, if we're interested in looking at some alarming instructions, you can click the alarm instruction, and then notice on the left side here, it went right to the directory that we needed to be in for the different alarm type instructions, okay? So I can click on any of these, these are all hyperlinks, and it will give me specific information about a particular instruction, okay? So very useful. Um, another way we can access this, I'm just gonna close this, Let's open up the routine. What program do I have open here? Oh, this is our sine wave uh, generator program from previously. Okay, the another way, and, and probably the most common way that I access the instruction help, is you can select a particular instruction and either hit F1 or right click on it and go to instruction help. Okay, and that will bring you directly to the instruction that you are selecting okay so notice it brought me right to a timer on delay so this is great and this gives you a lot of useful um, information and a lot of different use cases for a given instruction okay so a, just an abundance of information here and good examples as well so like i said this feature is really underutilized i would say again this is a compute instruction i right click i go directly to the instruction uh, synopsis for this particular instruction and you can see here again it gives you example use cases of the instruction and tells you all of the details necessary in order to successfully implement the instruction so I always recommend to my students if they're not sure or they can't remember before I give them the answer anyway is I have them access the help menu that's built right into the system okay so that's great so let's just get back here to the uh, the help menu. And this time I'm gonna go down to the contents menu. And let's just drag this over here. And this time what I wanna do is I wanna show you how you can actually pull the wiring diagrams for a given module. So what I want you to do is I want you to head over to the search tab here. And I want you to type in a catalog number of a module. So I'm just gonna type in a 1756-IA16. And let's go ahead and click the list topics here. And notice now it's gone ahead and filtered for this specific module. And this is great. You look at what I'm seeing here. So you can see here, I have a specific detail or wiring diagram. I'm gonna double click that. And now you can see, let's just maximize this a little bit more. It gives me the wiring information for this particular module. Okay, and there's a whole bunch of other useful information in here as well. Um, communication formats, module data types, um, configuring. I mean, there's just an abundance of information in the online uh, help system that's built right into Studio 5000 itself. So again, you can pull the particular wiring diagram for a given module. And it gives you a little example of a couple of uh, inputs and how you would connect those inputs. Okay, so again, I mean, you can access this from the user manuals, of course, but I mean, this is a nice quick uh, way if you just need a simple example of how to wire a module up in the field. Okay, great. 
So let's go ahead and close this off. Now the next thing I wanted to show you is how we can make use of some of the features built into the start menu. So when you launch the start menu, you can see here I, I, I launch into the quick start. And this will give you a quick view of the recent projects you've had. It will allow you to open a project if you'd like to open one, new project, sample projects which are useful, uh, third party sample projects. So if you're working with any third party modules, uh, you may be interested in looking at some of the sample projects that they have uh, developed for you. Um, and next here we can head on over to the Learning Center. So the Learning Center is a nice way to kind of look at what's new. So they be updating this uh, on a regular basis uh, just with different how-to um, tutorials and then you can notice there's a how do I. So again lots of different online videos and tutorials. Again we've covered a lot of these in our uh, Studio 5000 Essentials video series here. But of course, you have access to all of these videos as well, right in the software. So this is great. Again, I think this is a very underutilized tool or feature that is in the software. So I do encourage you to go through each one of this. And did you know, so there's some nice helpful tips, uh, keyboard shortcuts, I mean, it goes on and on. So they've really developed quite an elaborate help system here to make the task of programming their controllers a lot easier. And hopefully, I am helping somewhat in that task as well. I do highly recommend that you know that these are here, number one, and take a look at them. You'll be surprised what you can learn and find in here. Okay, and the last thing I wanna look at here is the Resource Center. So this, again, is great when you're looking for more in-depth information on a given instruction, uh, module, or, or what have you. So you can see here, I'm just gonna quickly toggle through, and you can see here, I have a local PDF. I can go to the literature library for a given instructions. If I'm doing something with a guard logic system, which is a safety controller, I can look, pull the local PDF, and look at this, this is fantastic. This is part of the reason why the install takes so long, and the software is very large, is because you're getting all of these features installed with it for you so i mean this is great you, you have really everything you need at your system in the field on your laptop when you're in there commissioning um troubleshooting or what have you okay so i thought it was a, a good idea to point this out i mean it's not a technical video in any way but i thought it's very important that i point these things out in case you're just kind of glancing over it or you weren't even sure it, it was there, okay? So again, take some time, check out all the different help options that are at your disposal, make use of them in your daily uh, troubleshooting and commissioning activities, and thank you for watching.